South Korea's special reactor nicknamed the Artificial Sun, recently achieved a remarkable feat. It heated a loop of plasma to an extremely high temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius for 48 seconds. This beats its own previous record of 31 seconds set in 2021. This achievement is exciting because it brings us closer to the goal of creating a new energy source that's clean and almost unlimited. For over 70 years, scientists have been trying to copy how stars generate energy through a process called nuclear fusion. Stars fuse hydrogen atoms to create helium, producing lots of energy without making greenhouse gases or harmful radioactive waste. But recreating star conditions isn't easy. Fusion reactors like the tokamak use strong magnetic fields to trap superheated plasma, a state of matter with positive ions and free electrons, inside a donut-shaped chamber. Keeping the turbulent and superheated plasma coils in place long enough for nuclear fusion is really hard. The first tokamak was designed by Soviet scientist Natan Yavlinsky in 1958, but no one has ever made a reactor that produces more energy than it consumes. One big challenge is handling the incredibly hot plasma needed for fusion. Fusion reactors need very high temperatures, much hotter than the sun, because they operate at lower pressures than in stars' cores. The sun's core, for instance, is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, 15 million degrees Celsius, but has pressures around 340 billion times greater than Earth's sea-level air pressure. Heating plasma to these temperatures is somewhat manageable, but controlling it so it doesn't damage the reactor while still allowing fusion is tough. Scientists usually use lasers or magnetic fields for this. To make their plasma burn longer than before, the scientists made some changes to the reactor. They improved the diverters, which take out heat and ash from the reactor, by switching from carbon to tungsten. Si Wu Yun, the director of the K-Star Research Center, mentioned in a statement, Even though this was the first trial with the new tungsten diverters, thorough testing and preparation allowed us to achieve better results than before in a short time. The K-Star scientists have set a goal to keep the reactor at 180 million degrees Fahrenheit for 300 seconds by 2026. This achievement adds to other records set by fusion reactors worldwide, such as the one by the National Ignition Facility NIF, in the US, which gained attention when it briefly produced more energy than it consumed. Your interest is important as we explore together. Keep following for future updates and thank you so much for watching this video.